Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I am sitting down to go cover to cover through the fall winter Sensi catalog with you guys. So if you're one of my customers, you'll probably be receiving this in the mail soon. I did order both Canadian and US catalogs for my customers in both countries. So this is the fall winter catalog. The copy I have here with me right now is the Canadian version because I'm in Canada. But if you're a US customer, you will be receiving the US catalog, which is exactly the same as this one. It's just that the pricing is American dollars rather than Canadian. So you'll see lower prices for the US catalog. They, they're the same in theory, just with the exchange rate difference, you know. Um, this is the catalog. This is a beautiful cover, very aesthetic feeling. They've really gone with like the chunky textures and the prints and a lot of texture here. Lots going on, lots of detail. Really, really pretty. Some people have pointed out this child on the front looking kind of spooky and Halloweenish. <laughs> I don't disagree. It's kind of a choice they went with there. But I think she is kind of purposely blurred. I don't know. She's got the little uh, French bulldog buddy in her hand. So so there's, there's that. Um, also on the cover, we have the new warmer here. This one's beautiful. Cup of coffee. Are there any other Scentsy products? Yes. We have a fragrance flower on the little table there. So again, neutral, but very homey, very cozy on the front here this season. Last year, I think if I'm being honest, I kind of preferred last year's cover just a wee bit more because it had a golden retriever on the front and we have a golden retriever now. And so I have to, I have to prefer the golden retriever one, but this is very, very beautiful, very upscale and elegant. I really like the vibe they're going for here. Um, I will say also this catalog is glossier than other catalogs I've seen from Scentsy. This feels like a higher quality paper than they typically use. It seems to be an improvement. So that's kind of cool. We've got a very nice glossy little catalog here. Kind of feels very Pottery Barn, very Crate and Barrel. Um, yeah, so you first open it up here, we have, again, that kind of couch and the chunky blanket from the cover. Um, and they've got like a little blurb here from the interim CEO, Dan Orchard, about kind of fall and memories and scent memories. And I do agree that scent memories are like a big part of the appeal with Scentsy, is that you start associating those scents with memories that you're living through as you go through your days. And then those scents become attached to those memories. And I, I love when that happens. So there's that. Then other than that, you have like the mission statement, the values, and then your table of contents here. Um, we're just gonna go through cover to cover. Then we have this page here. This is We Are Scentsy. Be fearlessly authentic and bravely you. And then they have some pictures from other consultants. Um, and then we have the picture here of the new charity warmer. Every catalog season, Scentsy does a charity warmer where a portion of the proceeds, $13.50 Canadian to be exact, from this particular warmer will go towards the Scentsy Family Foundation. Um, it is a nonprofit registered one dedicated to bringing value to the world through supporting children, strengthening families, and building vibrant communities. If you want to see exactly what charities are supported by this foundation, you can go to scentsycharitablecause.com and it gives you a list of the charities that are funded. They're all quite nice, valid, lovely charities to support. And this year, the heart to heart warmer is this one right here. It's a pinhole design ceramic white warmer with little hearts. And it comes with four bulbs. It comes with the clear one shown here. It also comes with blue, red, and purple. And I believe those are to symbolize like foster and adoption care. So there's those. That is the charity warmer and that will be available all through the season. Next, we have our page about the Whiff Box. The Whiff Box is available every single month. This is a box that you can get either through Scentsy Club or just the regular website, entirely up to you. The Whiff Box is $46 Canadian. I'll put the American pricing right here below. Um, if you put it in Scentsy Club, because it is over the threshold for 10% off through Scentsy Club, if you get it in Scentsy Club, you actually save 10% off the Whiff Box off that $46 Canadian or the US amount. So it is kind of worth putting in Scentsy Club if you already have one. You can also get it as your half off item through Scentsy Club, which many people do. If you get it half off at $23, it is a steal because there's always like more than the value of products, more than the listed value. So if it's $46 Canadian, you're getting way more than that in value every single month. So there it is. It comes with kind of an assortment of products. They vary seasonally. Um, they get more kind of season specific as we go into the holiday months. 
it's a fun box and always a good value, especially if you're getting it half off through Sensi Club. Um, then there is a page here on Sensi Club. So if you hear consultants like myself talking about Sensi Club all the time, there's a good explanation here on how that works. Um, I've gone through that in pretty good detail on all of my club hauls. If you search Sensi Club on my channel, you'll see those videos and I go through that in each of those videos as well. Um, but Sensi Club basically, in a nutshell, is an empty vessel for free for you to use that you can set to come monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly throughout the year, and you can add whatever you want to it that is consumable. No warmers, but you can add wax, room spray, cleaning products, body products, that sort of thing. Um, after $40 in that club, you get 10% off everything. After $79 or $60 US, you get a half off item. It can be a club brick, it could be a whiff box, it could be an air purifier filter, whatever you want. Also, if you're not a consultant, you get rewards and referrals. So if you refer your family and friends to join Sensi Club and you're not a consultant, you actually get points on their orders as well that you can use towards your Sensi Club. So there's some really good perks there. The best perk, in my opinion, that applies to everyone is always get my bar. So if you have a bar that you love that comes out in one of the fall or winter collections that's coming up, because we have so many limited time collections coming up throughout the fall and winter, those fall bars, those harvest bars, those holiday bars, those are limited time. They're not for the whole season. They're not guaranteed to ever come back. So if you love any of those bars, which we probably will, you want to put them in a club. Because if you put them in a club, you get the always get my bar perk. As long as they're in your club, you will get that bar forever. Even if it's discontinued. So as long as it's in your club and you don't take it out, you will keep getting that bar forever and ever. So that is what a lot of us do with those bars that come along as limited time offers that we love. We stick them in a club. You get them discounted anyways after a certain amount. You get a half off item after a certain amount and you get that bar forever. Until you don't want it anymore, then you just click X and take it out and you don't have to worry about it. There's no commitment there, um, but you do get it as long as it's in your club. So that is Sensi Club in a nutshell. Excellent program. Love, love, love that we have that. Then we have kind of the feature warmer this season, it seems to be. It's the one from the cover and it's the one that they're kind of giving a full page feature here. It says, fall in love with what's in front of you. And how pretty and moody and fallish is that picture? I love the way the light dapples onto the wall with this one and onto the surface in front of it. So beautiful. Um, yeah, so that, that warmer is called Forest Light. It is a 25 watt warmer. It looks to be pressed tin or a tin warmer. It's beautiful. Um, the bar they've shown here is dashing. In my first cold sniffs, I did, uh, this was my number one of the 10 new scents. Dashing is my favorite one on cold. I haven't warmed them just yet. By the time this goes up, I may have. I'm filming this a bit early. So um, yeah, dashing was my favorite on cold. Next we have Take the Road Less Traveled. And I've noticed every page in this catalog, they've got like a little uh, like inspirational quote. So Take the Road Less Traveled. So we have the little woodsy Mallard Duck one. He's called Mallard. He's kind of a like, he's an element warmer. Um, he looks to be kind of like a resin or ceramic. He's kind of the same material as the rabbit warmer we had at Easter time, it looks like. Then we have the Pond's Edge Mini Warmer. It is a black mini warmer where the light shines through the little wheat pieces. It's very cute. 15 watt glass. Then we have the returning warmers. These are ones that we've had in previous seasons that are back this season. I know this one's been very popular. This is the Shining Light Warmer. It is a 40 watt um, glass warmer. Really, really pretty. The outside structure here is metal. But there's a picture of it set up in someone's house. Very nice. So these are kind of the more rustic woodsy ones. They've kind of got them themed here. Next we have May the Journey Lead You Home. So these are kind of your more homey farmhouse style warmers. We have the Rustic Sunflower Warmer, which is a ceramic one, 25 watt. That should be a pretty good performing warmer. Nice for like August or early fall, September. Then we have, and this is a returning warmer as well. This is not new. And then we have these other returning ones as well. We have the little watering can. This one does put out a like sunrise behind behind it on the wall. That one's cute. We have the little bless this house one, this or bless this home. This one's quite popular. Yeah, there's just some cute little tin, like farmhouse style warmers there. So very cute. 
Next we have Find Room to Flourish. And we have a new warmer and then it's got a base. I love I love that they're featuring the bases because these little bases are an extra thing you can add onto your order. They're awesome. They add a little bit of height. They accommodate the cord in some cases. They're wonderful. So those are sold separately at the back of the catalog. But this warmer is beautiful. This picture, you can see the little etched flowers that are like etched into the ceramic and then it's got the gold leaf. This is gold leaf, which might be hard to tell from the picture. Beautiful. So that's the golden metal warmer. It is 25 watt ceramic. Lovely. Yeah. That one is new. The rest of these are returning. And these again are kind of like floral garden type themed warmers. Um, the little lavender love one. I have that in my bathroom. Love that one. It's a pretty good little performer. Um, the butterfly season one. I don't personally have, but it's probably also a very good performer because it is ceramic. And then there's the other ones here. Super cute. This is what this one looks like lit up. The light comes through the flowers there really nicely. So yeah, there's those ones. Then we have See the Beauty All Around You. These are kind of your more gardeny, leafy, vibrant ones. This is returning. This is the aloe vera warmer. This one is new. This is Sedona. It is a mini warmer like a little cactus and it has little, I don't know if you can see this, but it has little gold dots on the prickles. Those are all hand painted. So very, very cute. And that one is a traditional 15 watt glass mini warmer. The rest of them here are returning and these are very, very popular warmers, especially these two. This is the succulent one and this is the little garden. These are very popular. You can actually take the succulents out of both of these and replace them with seasonal decor of your choice. If you go on Pinterest or Instagram, there's all kinds of pictures of people who have decorated these for the seasons and they do a beautiful job. So there's those. And then there's the little mini warmers up there. And there's the peacock feather one, find to flaunt your feathers. That one leaves a beautiful cast on the, on the surface in front of it. And yeah, there's those. Next we have You Were Born to Stand Out. So these are kind of your more colorful, bright, fun ones. This one is new. This one is called Verve. And how pretty. It is very artsy, fancy, hand-blown glass. So the little like, blurb here says, made from 100% recycled glass in Mexico, each Verve warmer is hand-blown and unique in its own way, from the colors of the glass to the bead shapes within it. Each warmer is skillfully crafted over 18 hours from start to finish. And while the appearance of these artisan pieces will vary, each one is a beautiful symbol of renewal. So it comes with large and small bead shapes, soft and dark colors, and approximately eight small glass bottles are repurposed into each warmer. So it kind of shows a few different variations of this one. This is kind of on average what they look like, but yours may look a little different depending because they are all handmade and different. I love that one. That is going to be beautiful to see the different ones that people get. I love those ones that are all a little bit different. We've had a few of those in the past and I just love seeing the variation that comes out of those. Those are fun. So there's that one that is called Verve. It's a 25 watt glass. Then we have some of these ones and it seems I'm drawn to these ones because I have a lot of these ones in my home right now. Um, there's a bubbled iridescent mini warmer. The bubbled iridescent warmer is retiring this season. The mini warmer is staying. So you can still get the mini one. I actually have the full-sized one in my kitchen right now. That is a warmer I really enjoy. This is the Daydream mini warmer. It doesn't look like much in this picture. This is a beautiful mini warmer. I was lucky to get this when it was available in Region 3 from my friend Sara in New Zealand. I just popped this on top of a North American base plug and I love this warmer. This is in our guest bathroom and it's beautiful. It's kind of a light pink glass and it's iridescent and it's got these beautiful flowers on it. Um, there's also Summer Rain. This is another one that this picture doesn't do it justice. It is a iridescent pink orange and it has like raindrops on it and it's beautiful. It puts out the most pretty glow. It's a 25 watt glass. And then another one I have in my living room. These are all like ones that I have just in my living space right now. Um, this is Pearlescent Petals and there it is unlit. There it is lit. This is one I also have in my living room. This one's beautiful. Again, 25 watt glass. This one's a good performer because it does have some grout to keep the uh, 
the tiles in. That one does very well also and it's beautiful. That would be really pretty for a bedroom as well. That one's just gorgeous. It's got like pink and blue tones. It's so pretty. So that is kind of all the different warmers we have here. This is a nice, a nice one for a kid's room here. This one's very nice also with a daydream catcher or the dream catcher. And yeah, so good warmers on that page. Next we have Shine Your Light. These seem to be kind of your more glam but neutral ones. There we are. This one is returning. This one is called Glisten. This is a 20 watt glass warmer. And if I'm honest, I do own this one. It is my least strong performing warmer. Um, it's beautiful. It's nice as a secondary warmer in a room. But if this is your only warmer in a room, I might pick a different one. It's not the best performer in my experience, at least. Uh, next, we have a 15 watt glass warmer called Emerald Waves. This one is brand new this season. Very, very pretty. And then we have all of these kind of glam ones. We have Pearl Gatsby, which again, this picture does not do it justice. This is a gorgeous warmer. It is an iridescent, really, really pretty glass warmer. Very glam art deco style. Um, next we have this one here. This is another one I have that I love, Glimmer and Glow. This is a like lantern style warmer with a mirrored core. It is an element warmer and it's got little LED fairy lights inside. It's beautiful. I keep this one up all year round and it's in my, in my living room now. Really like that one. This one is underrated. This is the Diamond Milk Glass Warmer. It's a little element warmer. It's very simple, very cute, perfect for bedrooms because it doesn't have any light. If you want a little element warmer that's just cute on a nightstand and doesn't have any light that's going to be shining at nighttime, this is a great nighttime bedroom warmer. It's so cute, so dainty, so elegant, and it's a lower price point too, so that is a good warmer to have. Next we have There is Beauty in Simplicity. So these are kind of your more simple style warmers. These ones are new this season. These are a lower price point warmer. They are called the Mod Warmers. They come in several colors. There's taupe, black, or sage, and they are $33 Canadian, I think 25 US. So a nice little gifty warmer, still full size, still holds four cubes, but a smaller overall size and very, very simple. No light. And yeah, they're element warmers. You can also get these as a bundle, which would be a fun gift idea for anything really, a birthday or whatever. Um, you can get the best-selling three bar bundle for $23 Canadian, probably... I'm not sure the US price, I'll put that below. Um, but you get the three bars Luna, Black Raspberry Vanilla, and Blueberry Cheesecake for $23. And if you pair that with one of these warmers, what a great gift. So there's those. We have some other simple warmers here as well. This is one from last season. This is a Simply Diamond one. This is the $40 price point, I think 30 US. Again, a little element warmer, a little bit more detailed than these ones, but very, very pretty. We have the Light From Within one, this one's also quite popular. Your Alabaster, which is just a classic. There's that one. The Salerno one. This is beautiful. This one looks really nice with colored bulbs as well. Um, just a really pretty kind of modern print there. Would go with any decor scheme, really. Comes in the mini warmer as well. And then, of course, you have the two classic curve warmers in black and gray. These are kind of your classic Scentsy warmers. They are, again, a lower price point at $46 Canadian somewhere in the 30s US. Um, very nice warmers. People say these are kind of the best performing warmers. I have the gray classic curve and I agree it's a good performer. I wouldn't say it's the best performer I have though. It is a very good warmer, but I think it's just as good as like Salerno. And this is a beautiful warmer and a strong performer as well. Then we have life is all about choices. And if you're getting a catalog from me, this is the page where you're gonna find scented stickers. I'm going to be putting scented stickers on each of these bars to make it smell like that bar. So if you're getting a catalog from me, um, check page 25. I'll have it flagged for you as well, but there will be scented stickers on this page. Um, yeah, so it's kind of got the scent categories and then the picture of the new releases. Here you have your descriptions of the new releases and then all the other scent categories. So this is We've kind of gone through these, so I'm not going to go through them in too much detail. But you have your new releases, your holiday scents, all right here. You have a nice big spice category. We have our bakery category. We have a very, very large fresh category. We have a nice little woods category here this season. 
our two florals as usual, uh, reduced fruity category for fall winter, and our five citrus bars. And then we have Harry Potter. We have the Hedwig Owl Buddy with a little envelope, super, super cute. We have the scent pack that you could get separately for her. She comes with a scent pack and I believe it could be the Harry Potter one, um, but you can also buy that scent pack separately if you want to. And then the Wizarding World scent in the wax and the scent pack. This is a great scent. It's kind of a slightly masculine, very woodsy, warm, library-ish, really nice rich scent. Nice for August, September, even any of the cold months. Um, the Harry Potter warmer is just gorgeous. This is a 25 watt warmer. Then you have the Golden Snitch Buddy Clip for like a backpack or something. Um, this warmer will also be coming in a Christmas edition. Same shape, same design, but white and blue themed with a projection of a holiday image on the, on the wall behind it. That will be an element warmer. This one is a bulb warmer. Then we have our Mickey Mouse page, as usual. Um, again, we have our Mickey and Minnie warmers, all we, as always, our three Disney scents. Uh, oh Boy, Totally Minnie, and Mickey Mouse and Friends. Those are staying the same. We have our Mini Fan Diffusers and the Mickey Mouse and Friends pods. There. We have our Minnie and Mickey Buddies. And some scent circles and scent packs in the same sense as these ones. So those are the Mini, Mickey Mouse and Minnie collection. Then we have more Disney. We have Ariel with her beautiful warmer. This one casts the most pretty pattern on the surface in front of it and the wall behind it. It looks like the underwater, it looks like sun dancing on water. It's really, really pretty. Just because of the way the glass is, is shaped. There is a bar that matches this you can buy separately. It is Ariel Under the Sea. It's kind of an aquatic, fresh apple type scent. And then we have True Love Awaits, the Disney Princess collection with the mini fan diffusers, the pods, and the wax. Um, that's a scent I really love for my daughter's room. It's a nice fruity one. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. We have the mini fan diffuser for him and the 100 acre wood scent. This is a perfect scent if you're trying to buy a baby gift or a scent for a small child's room. 100 acre wood is what I would pick even over newborn nursery. Newborn nursery is quite a strong baby powder scent. 100 acre wood's a bit softer, probably a bit more newborn friendly or baby friendly, at least to my nose. Um, it is cotton blossoms, jasmine, and vanilla. I love this one for my daughter's room or even for our bedroom. This is a beautiful, relaxing scent. Next, we have a new buddy, and this is a great idea for a buddy because this breed of dog is so popular right now. Everyone has one, it seems. We have Frankie the French Bulldog, and he is a black and white French Bulldog. So if you have a Frenchie or know someone who has a Frenchie, there is now a buddy who is a Frenchie. Um, so that is very fun and a very good, I think, addition to the buddy collection. Then we have T Tex the T-Rex and Leone, Leoni, Leoni. Leoni the Leopard. I need to pronounce that better. Uh, but Leoni the Leopard and Tex the T-Rex, they both smell, or no, Tex the T-Rex smells like Tropic Tango, which is kind of a fresh, fresh kind of like fruity citrus type scent. And then the Leopard one smells like Amazon Rain, which is a beautiful, creamy, fresh scent. Then we have Milani the Mermaid, who smells like Aloha Citrus. And Summer the Sea Turtle, which also smells like Aloha Citrus. So we have a couple kind of summery ones continuing forward. And then we have these two guys as well. These are fun to clip on backpacks to add some scent and some fun. Next, we have our air purifier page. And it's every day is a fresh start. So I, had, I do have a couple of the air purifiers throughout my home. If you ever intend to purchase an air purifier, let your consultant know ahead of time so she can set you up with a party link, she or he. So they can set you up with a party link because if you're gonna buy an air purifier, the air purifier alone will push you to the first tier of rewards on a party. So if you're gonna buy an air purifier, you may as well get some party rewards out of it is what I'm saying. You will automatically get one half off item and some free product credit. So if you're ever on the market for an air purifier, tell your consultant before you buy it and ask them to set you up a party. So you can get some filters or some pods or something discounted or free for it. Um, a new product this season we've not had before are the tabletop fan diffusers. This is a great idea. I've been thinking for a while to need these. So we have the mini fan diffusers. The mini fan diffusers plug into your wall outlets like this. 
They're great. I love those. They're good for hallways, good for laundry rooms, that sort of thing. You put your pods in, a little fan spins and blows the scent around the area. They're great for small spaces. The thing with a lot of my customers is some people just don't want wax. They have pets, they have little kids, they have that sort of thing. They just don't want wax. They want pods because if you hit them or knock them, there's no mess. There's no wax accidents happening with pods. So some people just prefer pods for their lifestyle, which is fine. The only options they had before were the air purifiers, which do provide a lighter scent throw with the pods, or the wall diffusers, which do provide a good scent throw, but they're best for smaller spaces. And the thing about outlets is they tend to be low on the wall, not up where your nose is. So with these tabletop fans, you can set them on little end tables. You can set them on a coffee table. You can plug them into your laptop at your desk. They are a nice place to have pods that are going to be more easily smellable because they're closer to your nose, probably from where you're sitting. If you had this on an end table by your couch, you would smell it very easily because it's close by. It's kind of at face level if you're on the couch. Um, whereas if it's in an outlet, it's kind of probably tucked away behind furniture a little bit. It's probably down low where it's not going to throw as high. This is a great addition, I think. If you're a person who loves pods, this is something I think is a must for you. And it comes in two different designs. It's got the bespeckled one, which is like a neutral tone with some speckles, or the dashing denim, which is kind of a light sage blue with like a white pattern on it. I'll try to zoom in a bit. So there's that. That's a great addition, I think. I'm excited for those. So yeah, you can fit up to two Scentsy pods, the same as everything else. And it includes a USB cord for you to plug it in. If you wanted to plug this into a U, uh, to a wall outlet and you don't have USBs in your in your house outlets, you can get those little dongles. I don't know what they're called. They're little bricks that you plug into a wall outlet that also have a USB in them. And then you can plug that into the wall and then add your USB cord to, to that so it can plug into the wall. That's an option. Many of us kind of have those from different cell phones we've had and stuff. So a dongle is what I would suggest if you want to plug it into a wall. But on your desk, it can just plug into your computer or your laptop. So that I think is a great addition. I'm very, very excited about that. The Sensi Go is sticking around. This is a portable, chargeable Sensi, like Sensi Pod diffuser. You can throw this, again, it can go for your desk. It can go in your travel trailer or your camper or whatever you do. Um, just kind of a nice little thing. It also does light up. Good for a kid's room for that reason. We also have the mini fan diffusers, which are kind of along the line of the tabletop diffusers, except they're smaller and simpler. These are great for your car. They're great for your desk, that sort of thing, but they fit in a cup holder nicely in most cases as well. So they come in many different pr prints and colors. Um, well, they come in many different colors. They come in two prints. We have the new cheetah one this season. There's also a marble toned print. The rest are just kind of colors. So there's those. They can only fit one pod. Everything else we've talked about fits two pods at a time if you want it to. These only fit one pod. We have a whole list of pods here this season. The new ones are Candy Cane Buttercream, Cinnamon Pinecone, Cranapple Crumble, Falling Apples, French Lavender, great addition. Frosted Vanilla, great addition. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, yes. Silver Bells, yes. Uh, Velvet Moon, also a great addition. They've got some great new pods this season and I'm excited to try those. Those are some great scents. Um, diffusers, create peace and serenity. We have this kind of wicker or rattan diffuser. Um, it says it's natural jute is what it's made of. We also have the deluxe diffusers. These are a bit less pricey than the premium diffusers. And these actually hold more water. So if you're going for one that you want to run for a long period of time, this is probably your go-to, honestly. Um, these are nice for like a bedside table or a bedroom. These are kind of a nice decorative statement piece. Um, but yeah, I have both. I probably find this one more functional day to day because it does last longer and hold more water. This one you have to fill up every few hours. It's good for like an evening after work. But if you want one to last like all night or for like 12 hours, this is the one I think but that's a good one. This one does go through a different colored light show as well, if you want it to. Um, here are some more premium diffusers, and again, beautiful shades, very statement shades. There they are. I have this one. Um, this one changes colors depending on the light shining through, as they all do, but very, very pretty. And again, here it's showing the jute one with the different colors that you can cycle through. Very, very pretty. 
and it does say all the glass shades are hand blown and the handmade mosaic pieces are all hand placed which is very cool then we have the oil menu they've got it says it's your mood so they've got a few different kind of tones you can set here they have calming ones they have uplifting ones they have balancing ones or comforting ones so the new ones this season are there's three there's a new uplifting one called white peach and eucalyptus it is white peach nectar and energetic coconut take eucalyptus leaf to new heights so that is in the uplifting category in the balancing category we have one new addition it is orange blossom and cashmere it is soft jasmine and orange blossom sprinkled with petty green find the right balance in warm cashmere cashmere wool so there's that one then we have one addition to comforting it is mahogany and oak it's cinnamon bark and patchouli embrace rich mahogany and oak with delightful warmth there's that one and then of course there's all the other descriptions of the other oils as well then we have self-care isn't selfish 100 percent agreed we have the new glacier water body line and we have the other body products here as well self-care isn't selfish yes i think often we get tied up with self-care being selfish it is not although i always tell my clients selfish isn't a bad thing self-absorbed is a bad thing and selfless is a bad thing for your own health and well-being but self-ish is kind of a good thing because if you're self-ish you've got selfless on one side of the spectrum and that means your needs aren't being met you're going to burn out real fast your relationships are going to be very one-sided that's not a great place to be self-absorbed also not a great place to be other side of the spectrum you're going to be a very domineering person your relationships are going to be probably not very successful you're not caring about others needs whatsoever that's not a great place to be self-ish somewhere in the middle ground you're just self-ish self-absorbed is over here and a selfless person is never going to become self-absorbed most likely selfish is where you want to be ish is good ish is here you care about others needs you also care about your own it's a nice healthy boundary spot selfish is good so they say self-care isn't selfish i agree but i also say self-ish is a good place to be so that is the body care page um so yeah body cream we have glacier water as our new scent this season we also have jammy time just breathe make a splash and vanilla waves in all the other body products uh, mystery man is available also just in the body wash though then we have live laugh laundry <laughs> laundry is kind of something that we tend to do all the time and so it's nice to have it smell nice and be a little bit i guess decadent to use i love our laundry line um, that is what I personally use. I love the washer whisk most of all, but I also use the laundry liquid and I have a stockpile of scent soft I'm still using too. So this season, the new scent is White Amber Antique. This is a kind of woodsy, slightly masculine scent to my nose. Personally, not my favorite scent, honestly. Um, this is not a scent I'm going to purchase in laundry, but I know a lot of people absolutely love White Amber Antique. It is a very, very popular scent. So I think many people are going to absolutely love this. It is a very strong scent. I could see it being nice and strong in laundry as well, because in the wax, it is very strong. So if you want a nice, strong, woodsy, kind of warm scent, White Amber Antique might be for you. Um, we also have Scentsy Fresh this season in Fiji Flower and Fluffy Fleece. Fluffy Fleece is my fall-winter laundry scent of choice. That is one I just love. It is kind of like heliotrope and cozy cuddliness. It is like a kind of floral, cuddly, cozy fleecy scent it is it smells fleecy it's it's in the name so that's a good one we also have black raspberry vanilla clothesline jammy time lavender cotton luna magnolia cotton linen magnolia linen and pink cotton pink cotton is another top-notch one that is my favorite kind of like spring summer scent for laundry i think aside from fiji flower fiji flower is also really good but pink cotton is a fantastic scent it's like pink berries and sugar it's beautiful you can get the laundry bundle as well, which is probably the way I, which is what I usually do. You get a big washer with tub, a laundry liquid, and two packs of dryer discs. The dryer discs, I would prefer if they just gave us like a second laundry liquid, honestly. But, you know, the dryer discs are okay. The dryer discs do not reduce static, so you will still need to use a dryer sheet. What they do is just add a little bit of extra scent. So there's those. Um, the laundry liquid I like because you don't have to use all that much. It's like four pumps for a large load. 
and the pumps are quite small. So these do last quite a while, the laundry liquids, and the whiffs too. You can use, they say a scoop. If I'm doing a very large load, I'd usually do two scoops of the, of the washer whiffs, but one scoop does still scent your laundry. So I just prefer a stronger scent because I'm, I'm a scentsy person, so I like my scent strong. Um, so there's that. Then we have a clean state of mind for the cleaning product page. And then we have a nice picture here of the Scarlet Sunflower laundry, or not laundry, cleaning bundle. So you can get these all separately or as a bundle. We have the counter clean, the bathroom cleaner, and the all-purpose concentrate. The all-purpose concentrate, people sometimes ask what that's for. So the all-purpose concentrate you can do a few things with. You can dilute it in a spray bottle and use it as like a counter spray or just an all-purpose cleaning spray. I have done that, that works well. You just kind of add like a, a small amount. It gives you a ratio on the bottle. Do not add more than the ratio says or you're gonna have streaks. Um, so less is more with that one. Use exactly what they say. So you can do it that way as like an all-purpose counter spray or you can just kind of dump it in a mop bucket a little bit and use it to clean your floors, that sort of thing. It's kind of just nice that way. You, just, you dilute it, it goes a long way, it's, it's nice. Um, the bathroom cleaner is awesome. It's got citric acid in it. It does a really good job if you have um, like soap residue or scum, even a little bit of mineral deposit stuff, it'll take care of. We have very hard water where I live and the bathroom cleaner is awesome. Um, counter clean, love this stuff. My husband disagrees. I love the counter clean. I use it all the time. My husband says he doesn't like the way it leaves a film on the counter. It does leave a film on purpose it leaves a film to prevent other grime from sticking. So if you've used the counter cleaner a few times, like a few days in a row, you'll find there's like a slightly slick fin, not, not slick, but like there's a finish on your counter. And then you'll find if you spill jam or if you spill like ketchup and it dries on there all crusty, it'll just flick right off. It, it makes it so things don't stick to it anymore. I like that feature. Some people don't. So it just depends on your preferences. Some people don't care for that. I personally enjoy it. It depends. So if that sounds pleasant to you, you might like the counter clean. I do. Um, again, so yeah, we have the Scarlet Sunflower, which is a cranberry and sunflower type scent. It's really pretty. Um, kind of a nice early fall scent to my nose. It also comes in Daydream Oasis, Johnny Appleseed, Make a Splash, Squeeze the Day, Sunkiss Citrus, and Vanilla Mint. Vanilla Mint is my pick of that bunch. I love Vanilla Mint. It's kind of a citrus floral mint scent. Perfect for the cooler months. I love it. Then we have Live Life Unplugged, and we have some car options on this page. We have a product that was new last fall. It's the Travel Twist. It is a kind of a little potpourri thing that you can twist open or closed, and you can twist it to different levels to have more scent throw. I noticed this season they've got a little blurb here saying, good airflow will help create the optimal fragrance experience. So when I use this, and they've got it here shown in like a gym bag or a backpack or purse, and that's how I've heard of some people using it. I haven't tried it that way. What I did is I have a cabinet that we store our garbage can in, and it's got a little shelf on the top and you do close it up. It like comes in and out to hold the garbage can. I stuck it on the shelf inside the garbage can cabinet and I didn't find it perform very well. I only bought the one. I wasn't impressed with the performance. I didn't repurchase that product. Um, so I'm noticing this time they've got a little note here saying good airflow is key. So maybe I need to try it again in somewhere where it has airspace. Um, maybe a car, maybe a purse, something like that. A purse that isn't zipped closed all the time. And mine is quite open, so that might work better for me. Um, so yeah, we do have weathered leather coming to that scent. Weathered leather seems to be so popular and I, I don't get it. <laughs> But it is now in Travel Twists for those of you who love weathered leather, that will be available. We also have car bars, room sprays, scent circles, and scent packs. Those are all good options for scenting your car. Um, I tend to go for scent circles because they're cheap and easy and you can replace them often. I'm quite fickle. I like to replace my scents often. So scent circles last four to seven days-ish usually. Um, so I can change them out frequently. Car bars last like more like a week-ish. Room sprays you can use as needed. Scent packs are nice because these are probably one of the pricier options, but if you chuck one of these under your seat in the car, these do last a good couple weeks. Um, so that's the scent packs. So there are those. Um, we also have the fragrance flowers in the two different shapes, the Buttercup Bell and the Dol Darling Dahlia. Um, fragrance flowers are amazing. 
I love fragrance flowers. They're beautiful decorative pieces. They are nicely scented for like a very small space. They're nice for like a front entryway or for a small bathroom or that sort of thing. They're just pretty. They just add a touch of fragrance wherever they are. They work really well. Um, yeah, great gift idea too. The reason these are a great gift idea is because you don't need any other stuff to work them. If you give someone wax, they have to have a warmer for it. If you gift them oil, they have to have a diffuser for it, etc. If you gift them this, they don't need anything. They just need this. They can just set it out, use it until it's gone, and then it's done. They don't have to replace anything or anything like that. So these are a good teacher gift idea as well, or coworker gift idea, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so the new scents we're getting this season in that are Jammy Time and Autumn Road Trip, as well as the other scents from previous seasons. Some things are meant to be shared. We have our recruitment page. This is for people who might be interested in becoming a consultant themselves. If you are, always reach out to the person you want to sponsor you. Um, I would be happy to, of course. All of us are. Um, so yeah, just some kind of the, of the perks of becoming a consultant. We also have the earn free stuff page. This one is very, very handy. This is your party page. So like I talked about in my one of my previous videos, if you're going to be, a, if you're a customer who purchases like once a month on average, it's probably in your best interest to set up a party with your consultant. You don't have to even like tell anyone about it. All you have to do is add your orders to it, your personal orders only. If you want to share that with friends, you can. If you want to just have it as your orders, you can. But if you hit $265 Canadian or $200 US, you get $26.50 or more in product credit for free, and you get a half price item. It is, it behooves you to set up a party link if you're a regular customer, especially this time of year when there's so much coming out. Um, definitely probably in your best interest. So if I'm your consultant, reach out to me. If you have a consultant already, let them know that you want a party link. The best party link, or the best kind of tier for me that I always encourage people to check out at is 665 Canadian or 500 US. At that point, you're getting $99.75, so about $100 worth of free product and three half price credits. So that is a great value. And again, those parties stay open for up to three months. So there is that. And at this time of year, a lot of us do that because we're buying gifts, we're buying things for other people as well. So it might be in your best interest to set, interest to set up a party link. Then there's just a piece here on why join Scentsy and fragrance. You love it, so start getting paid to share it or just get commissioned back on your own purchases. Um, development, there is incentive trips. There's all kinds of cool stuff with Scentsy and community. That is honestly the, probably the biggest reason it is a great community. I love the wax community. There's some great people here. So there's that. Um, then there's just kind of like a compensation plan page here. Then this is a handy page. This is your scent chart. So you might be thinking, I really love the scent Autumn Hearth. I love Autumn Hearth. Great scent. I want everything I can in Autumn Hearth. Does it come in pods? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to find the pod category. And I'm going to go down to Autumn Hearth and I'm going to see, yes, it does come in pods. So Autumn Hearth comes in pods. I can order it in pods. Does it come in a fragrance flower? Nope, doesn't come in a fragrance flower. Can't get it in that. So you just pick your scent or you pick your product. This is the products along here. These are the scents. And it just kind of shows you what is available in what. So here we have like Candy Cane Buttercream. That is a new addition to the catalog this year. It was a previous LTO. We see that it comes in the Scentsy Bar the room spray, the scent circle, and scentsy pods. That is what you can get candy cane buttercream in. Then you come to a scent like Blue Grotto. You can get Blue Grotto in absolutely everything. It's a very popular scent. It comes in everything. And then some of the other scents just come in a few things. So you can kind of go there and see. It's kind of a cheat sheet for what's available in what. We have the same sort of thing for the Disney bars, Harry Potter, and the like laundry clean and body scents. This is another chart for those. Then we have the bundle and save page. If you get a catalog and you're a frequent Sensi customer, I would bookmark this page and fold it over. This is a very handy page. This is where all your bundle stuff comes in. We have the bar bundles and their pricing, the pod bundles and their pricing, the perfect Sensi systems and the um, fan diffuser systems and all of that good stuff. That's all here. So that is very helpful to know. Anything you see that has a star next to it on this page means that it cannot be purchased with half-priced rewards or the party rewards. So that's just something to be aware of. Anything else can be. So for instance, you can get um, bar bundles 
and fragrance flower bundles with with half off rewards or party credits. You can do that. You cannot get a perfect Sensi bundle with your host credits anymore. So just be aware of that. Just kind of good to know. Um, but yeah, all of your bundles are here. So if you're on the market for a few fragrance flowers, this is a handy one at Christmas time, especially if you're buying teacher gifts or like gifts for coworkers and that sort of thing, you may as well get them with the bundle because you do get a, a few dollars off by bundling them. So it's always just helpful to see if there's a bundle if you're buying multiples of something. Then you have your big page at the end where everything just kind of pulls out and you have all your warmers. You've got your warmer stand, your cord concealing bases, which are this wood log one. I love this one. And your tin one. We have colored ball bundles. We have all kinds of good stuff there. So that is the catalog. On the back, you're going to find your consultant's information. And that is the catalog in a nutshell. When you get this, hang on to it. It, it is good until end of February. So it's going to be good for a while. Hang on to it. It's going to be in play for a long time to come. To come. And yeah, that is the catalog. Pretty, pretty little piece to even have sitting on your coffee table. That's where I kind of keep mine, in a coffee table or on an end table in my living room. And I just kind of like to look through it. Like, they're just fun to look through. So there is that. That's the fall winter catalog. So thank you for kind of sitting with me and going through that. They're fun to go through. They just are. So that's the catalog. And none of the LTO products are in here, as you'll see. Um, none of the, like, Christmas launch or the harvest launch is in here. Those are all separate collections. So you'll see those on the website at some point in the future but this is just the core catalog for fall winter so that was fun i hope you guys had a good time just kind of sitting and going through that i would love to hear the products that you're excited about from there or some of your favorite warmers from this catalog i always love seeing the new warmers the one i'm probably the most interested in is going to be the golden meadow i'm excited to see real life unboxings of this one i know liz from elizabeth scenes and Sense is enjoying this one as well so i think she's planning to get it so i can't wait to see her unbox that I'm excited to see that kind of in real life in her home especially because I feel like that just goes with her house so well. Um, yeah, I just kind of like the cozy vibes and the very neutral, warm tones here. So very excited for that. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys are doing well. Would love to hear your thoughts on the catalog below and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.